Okay, uh, let's take another example, which is carbon monoxide. You have to put in your mind the the number of bonds between carbon and oxygen in this molecule is three bonds. Okay. How can I represent that? Put in your mind, this compound contains two covalent bond, valent bond, and one is dative bond. Okay. So first of all, I will draw the covalent bonds. We remember carbon contains four electrons in its outer shell because uh, by default it locates in a group number six, sorry, in a group number four. Uh, for oxygen, it has uh, six electrons in its outer shell, and these electrons represent also the number of the group. It says that we have two covalent bonds. What does this mean? It means that these two electrons will, like, will be shared together, and these will be shared together. What will happen after sharing these electrons? Let's redraw it again. We got, uh, we put these two electrons for carbon here, all right, and we have double bond. What about oxygen? We have two lone pairs. All right. If we want to see if oxygen is a stable atom or not, how many electrons are around oxygen? One, two, three, four. And we have four electrons in the bonding, which means the electrons around oxygens are eight electrons, which is happy. What about carbon? We have two electrons in here and four electrons in the bonding, which means six electrons in carbon. In this case, we have electron deficient atom, which is carbon, and electron with lone pair, which is oxygen. These conditions are suitable to make dative bond. What will happen here? Oxygen is a good element. It will share its two electrons with carbon. So what will happen here? We have carbon, we have triple bond, and oxygen, okay? And we have these two electrons. By the way, if you want to represent in the displayed formula, you have to show me the arrow of um, of these elements. Okay, arrow represents, or let's say, stands for the direction of moving of electrons. Okay, this is really good. The next step that we want to learn: How can I draw this? You will draw carbon, and we will draw oxygen. Okay. Oxygen has the two electrons here, and carbon has two electrons. How many electrons in this area, as we can see? We have two, if we have three bonds, it means six electrons. But put in your mind, one, or let's say two of these electrons in here are for the dative bond, which come from these one here. So if you want to represent these electrons inside, we put these two, which represent the dative bond. These two electrons came from oxygen, and then you have XO, XO. You just remember that uh, the electrons of carbon are represented by X, then the electrons of oxygen are represented by, uh, by circles. All right, if you want to calculate the charge of carbon in this case, um, let's go here. The group number of carbon is 4 minus. How many bonds around carbon? 1, 2, 2 electrons. How many bonds this, does this carbon make? It makes uh, three bonds, as we can see. Then the charge of carbon here is negative one. What about the number of electrons? And or let's say the charge of, elect of oxygen in here. Oxygen is in a group number six. The number of electrons, one, two. Okay, how many bonds? We have a three. Then the charge is plus one. This is a plus one. Oxygen is a plus one. Carbon is negative one. The combination is zero, so that's why you never find carbon monoxide charged, it's neutral, okay?